Uh, Dean, comfortable 4-0 win, what do you think of it? Very tricky toy when we obviously got the draw. I think uh, Maidstone have themselves, see themselves in the tour down to the FA Cup. They beat Barrow last week, great performance from them. And then um, on the second in their division. Uh, so for us to perform the way we did and the smack the way we did, I'm really, uh, really pleased with Really, really pleased. A really strong lineup today. How do you balance doing that and also preventing any injuries in this uh, congested fixture list? Yeah, that's the start of, um, I think, in the next 21 days. I think we play six games starting today. Um, but I just take it one game at a time. That's all I can do. Um, with obviously the form we've been in the November we had, which was very frustrating. I couldn't really rotate. I have to be honest with you. Um, I felt that I needed to go with a stronger group as, a, as as I felt. That doesn't mean that the players that are not playing are not good players. But I wanted to go with the ones that are starting to look back, getting back to form, like Danny Collins and Adi Aluo and people like that. So, so Potty come in did really well. Um, so we just keep taking it one game at a time. Really, that's that's always been my philosophy. On Danny Collins, he started in the middle of that back three. Is that a different role than he normally plays? Yeah, we did that at Newport as well. Yeah, we did that last week at Newport as well. So yeah, yeah, look, he can play. He can play anywhere in the back line. To be fair, to Danny, he can play in midfield. He's that good. Um, we just took him off just precautionary, um, just on his groin. And obviously, we want to get Connor Stevens some minutes. A three in a look, I felt you know it was basically done and dusted sort of the game. So. Um, yeah, he, listen, Danny's a very articulate, intelligent player. He studies the game. He's an excellent professional. Like I think I said last week on camera that you know he's a captain in the making for this football club. And then at 3-0 at half-time, was there anything you had to say to the team to stop any complacency from creeping in? Yeah, just little bits of start positions. We worked on two video clips at half-time. One where they had a great opportunity on a turnover from a throw-in right in front of the dugout. The lads had a heavy touch. It's just starting position from where Idris was. Um, and another one on where we want their sort of 10s and 8s to be when we're in possession. Just little things like that, just keep drilling it into the players. You'll never master this business. Sometimes you've got to tweak it. Sometimes we'll play a three in midfield. Sometimes we'll play a four. So just little things like that, just making sure that we can penetrate the game. But I thought we managed the game second half. Excellent. I didn't think it was a red card, by the way. I thought it was a little bit harsh to get the a red card. But look, um, that is what it is. That's, that's out of our hands. Um, but after, when I'm going down to 10, I'm just thinking, right, nice and safe now. Be reliable. Get the job done. And no injuries. With that four in the midfield, how much confidence did you have and how do you think your wing-backs did covering that entire flank? Yeah, they have to do it. We've got athleticism and pace in them wide areas. Idris was outstanding, a constant threat. Just got to walk on his finishing a little bit more. Um, I know he can finish. I've seen him score goals against Wrexham and, and, and York and people like that. So it's something we walk on with him and train. And once he gets that right, once he gets his numbers right, it just has a real bright future. And obviously down the other side as well, we've got Ben Coke as reliable. We've got Sam Beard who can play that position. Um, Ben's obviously experienced. Down the other side, we have Reese Hall Johnson who's got tremendous pace. Um, and you've got obviously... Jordan Cropper and we've got Ben Winter as well so we've got we've got a good squad and then finally what can you take from today going into that second or that replay against Newport on Tuesday uh, the togetherness we have we've been through a really tough time lots of question marks asked for us um, conceding goals in 90th minute dominating games and conceding goals against the run of play and if you stop believing in your philosophy you might as well give it up so well, if I stop believing in my I might as well give it up I never stop believing in the players um, I knew stopping the rock was important last week against Newport the score late the way we did was very important um, in a game I felt we should have won but now it's a replay and it's a 50-50 game on Tuesday um, and I thought today's our performance was, was excellent uh, to the standard we've set ourselves most of the season Dean thanks for your time Cheers.